Hey friends, welcome back to Property Ask Echo channel. Finding profitable investment properties in South Africa requires a strategic approach. Over the past decade, I've immersed myself in the world of property investing, owning over 90 rental units and building a career in real estate. One of the most life-changing skills I've learned is how to find the most profitable investment property. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you proven strategies, expert insights, and practical tips to help you maximize your returns and secure your financial future through smart property investment. You may want to save this video and come back to it later. Let us know in the comment what strategies have worked for you in finding profitable properties. Let's go. Number one is to understand the South African property market. Research market trends and economic data. Focus on high growth areas and analyze historical data for property appreciation rates. South Africa's property market is unique, characterized by a diverse range of opportunities and challenges. According to a report by Lightstone, property prices have shown consistent growth in urban areas such as Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban. For instance, Johannesburg's property market has experienced an average annual growth rate of 5% over the past decade, while Cape Town has seen up to 7% in certain areas. According to Lightstone data report, urbanization and economic development in cities like Johannesburg and Cape Town drive property demand, leading to substantial appreciation. A recent analysis by Property24 showed that properties in Johannesburg's Rosebank area increased in value by 12% over five years due to new business development and improved public transport links. Number two, identify high yield areas. Look for areas with strong rental demand. Consider upcoming infrastructure projects and evaluate neighborhood amenities and safety. To find profitable investment properties, it is essential to identify high yield areas. For example, Cape Town City Ball and Seapoint neighborhoods are known for their high rental yields driven by strong demand from both local and expatriates. Similarly, Durban's Mflanga area has seen significant appreciation due to its attractive lifestyle and upcoming development. For example, in Mflanga, the construction of new shopping centers and business hubs have increased property values by 15% over the past five years. Investing in neighborhoods with planned infrastructure projects can yield significant returns. A study by Road and Associates found that properties in Cape Town's City Ball had rental yields exceeding 8% making it one of the most lucrative areas for property investment. Number three, analyze property types and their potential. Compare residential versus commercial properties. Assess the potential for short-term versus long-term rentals. Consider the benefit of mixed-use properties. Different property types offer varying levels of profitability. Residential properties, particularly in popular suburbs can provide stable long-term returns. On the other hand, commercial properties in business districts like Centen offer higher rental yields but may come with greater risk. Understanding these dynamics helps you choose the right investment to suit your financial goals. For example, a mixed-use property in Centen that combines office spaces and residential units has shown a 10% higher ROI compared to single-used properties. Diversifying your property portfolio across different types and locations can mitigate risk and enhance 
profitability. An analysis by JLL South Africa highlighted that mixed-use development in Sentin have outperformed single-use properties by 15% in terms of rental yields over the past three years. Number four, when financing your investment, explore different financing options. Understand the impact of interest rates. Calculate your potential return on investments. Financing is a critical aspect of property investment. In South Africa, investors have access to various financing options, including home loans, buy-to-let mortgages, and property syndicates. According to the South African Reserve Bank, interest rates are currently favorable, making it an opportune time to secure financing. Tools like ROI calculators can help you determine the profitability of your investment. For example, a 1 million rent property with a 20% down payment at an 11% interest rate can yield significant returns if rented at 12,000 per month. Securing a favorable financing terms can significantly enhance the profitability of your investment. Look into green financing options which can offer lower interest rates for properties that meet certain energy efficiency standards. Number five, legal and regulatory considerations. Stay informed about property laws and regulations. Ensure compliance with zoning laws and building codes. Protect your investment through proper contracts and insurance. Navigating the legal landscape is vital to safeguarding your investment. South Africa has specific property laws that investors must adhere to. For example, understanding zoning laws can prevent future disputes and ensure that your property can be used as intended. Additionally, Proper contracts and insurance protect your investment from unforeseen events. For example, in Johannesburg, adhering to new zoning laws has enabled investors to convert residential properties into high-demand commercial spaces legally. Comprehensive due diligence on legal aspects can prevent costly mistakes and secure your investment. Poll question, what do you think is the biggest challenge investors face in South Africa property markets? Please click on the link in the comment section to select your answer and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. An investor in Pretoria successfully converted a residential property into a guest house by navigating local zoning laws resulting in a 25% increase in property value and rental income. In conclusion, finding profitable investment properties in South Africa requires a strategic approach through research and an understanding of market dynamics. By focusing on high growth areas, choosing the right property types, securing favorable financing, and navigating legal considerations, you can maximize your returns and build a robust property portfolio. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like another one that I've linked here on how to maximize your passive income with rentals. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.